So the 2022 World Cup in Qatar will be starting next year. I'm really excited for this World Cup because this will be the first World Cup that will take place in the winter. And as a Nigerian, I really hope that Nigeria can qualify. Now, what I hope doesn't matter because for the World Cup, only five African countries can qualify to the tournament. And with Nigeria, we do have a history of missing out on the World Cup. The way the qualification process works for the Confederation of African Football, or CAF, is that there are three rounds. The first round, 28 teams ranked from 27 to 54 play home and away over two legs. And then 14 winners in that first round move on to the second round. In the second round, 40 teams ranked from 1 to 26 and the 14 first round winners play home and away legs as well. And then 10 winners from that second round progress to the third round. And then in the third round, you have home and away legs again, but only five final winners go on to the World Cup. In the current FIFA rankings, Nigeria is 33, which puts us as the third best African country after Senegal and Tunisia. That automatically puts us in the second round, where we are grouped with Cape Verde, who was ranked 76 on the FIFA World Rankings, Central African Republic, who was ranked 111 on the FIFA World Rankings, and then Liberia, who was ranked 152 on the FIFA World Rankings. This puts Nigeria in a great position because we are definitely higher ranked than the other teams in our group. And if we can win that group, go on to the third round, and also win the home and away legs, we can be one of those five spots in the World Cup from Africa. Of course, getting one of those five spots to the tournament is not guaranteed because Africa has a lot of strong nations who are also going for those five spots. You have the current African champions in Algeria, you have other nations that have star players in Egypt, Morocco, Senegal, and just overall, it doesn't matter even if a team is lower ranked, they could still surprise and upset the guarantees or the people that you would expect to go on to the tournament. But I'll discuss that in another video and discuss who I think is going to qualify from the second round groups, who I think, if they get matched up in the third round, will go on and qualify to the World Cup itself. But now I really want to focus on why Nigeria needs to qualify to the World Cup in this video. Personally, and you can disagree with me or not, but I think Nigeria needs to qualify for this World Cup because it helps bring exposure to our players and it also improves the ability of our players. If you take a quick glance at the Nigerian roster, these are the players who have been recently called up to recent games over time. Most of our Nigerian players are either playing in lower leagues, or if they're playing in top leagues, they aren't getting as much game time. And that's why we need to qualify for this World Cup. Because when we do qualify, if we do qualify, the Nigerian players, first of all, will be on the world stage. The world stage will mean that you get exposure. If you do well in the tournament, and even if you don't do well, if one or two players shine in the tournament, they can get scouted to a bigger league around the world. And that is what we need for our players to be constantly playing in the best league around the world so that they can constantly improve their ability. But anyway, all that won't matter if Nigeria fails to qualify for the Quarter World Cup in 2022. But like I said earlier, the qualification games are going to be starting next month. I'm going to be spending this month of August to be talking about the different groups, which teams might make it, which teams might not make it, which players to watch out for. And of course, when the games themselves start, I'll be keeping up with the games and seeing how Nigeria performs if they can move on to the third round, and if they can actually make it to the World Cup. But follow me here on this channel to see more, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below.